Hey, Dan Larson here. Welcome to the freshest episode of Synthesize Sunday. And in this episode, we are going to create this cool bass sound. We are talking about this very bass sound. And this is a massive preset spiced out with some serum effects. And before we start making it, let me tell you that this is a loop from my 5P Media Baseline House Pack, which is so cool. Let's just listen into the demo song. So this is a very neat little package filled with very deep and dark bass lines. Um, if you want, you can check out the, the whole pack and the, 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 the demo loop, sorry. I will give the link in the descriptions. So let's get back to our bass. This is a massive preset, as I told you. And uh, here are we have two oscillators. The one is a polysaw, which is a very short little plucky kind of sound, which can you only hear at the very you know, at the very first few minutes of the sound, or very few seconds. And we have this classic uh, wave table here, and the magic is here, is based on the phase modulation, which is driven by oscillator 3. So basically we only uh, sp spice up oscillator 3 with some phase modulation. So we have a sine wave on pitch 12, which is one octave, and we modulate it, I mean, we modulate oscillator 3 with this oscillator on one octave, which is a sine wave. So it is very important if you didn't know what phase this stuff here does. This is basically FM or phase modulation, and you have a sine wave. You can set the pitch of the sine wave here, and you can set which oscillator you want to, to modulate it with. And we, have, we set here oscillator 3. So we have uh, a polysaw 1, on minus five. So basically we are playing some kind of chordy uh, tuned sound. And this is all. We have some noise, but this is not very important here. Let's check. Well, it is important. Some feedback to make the sound more, more, to give it more body or I don't know how to how to express it the whole sound uh, becomes very thick if you feedback the sound into 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 itself so we have two parabolic shaver one and two the second one is not driven too much but it definitely gives some tone to it and of course, like everybody uses the classic tube. We have some EQs modulated by the frequency. <laughs> to find the speed, the sweet spot of the very deep stuff. So, hey. So you can, you know, find uh, the sound what you want to boost up like some kind of growly or 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 vocally tone so this is what the frequency does here so we use lfo5 for it and as you can see we does the same with oscillator 3 wavetable position <laughs> 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 
<laughs> just a very little, like, I don't know, like a few, few percent. And we also use band reject, band reject filter. We have two filters here, but the comb filter is not that important because if I unclick it, it doesn't change too much. I mean, the sound doesn't change too much. But let's see the routings here, which is, I think, it is important. So we are using a serial uh, routing, which means uh, filter 1 goes right after, I mean, filter 2 goes right after filter 1, so they are in a chain. And the mix is this stuff here, what it represents, which filter wants to you which filter you want to go out from the synthesizer and this is in this case it is mixed too so <coughs> filter 2 will come out for uh, first filter 2 and then filter fil first filter 1 and then filter 2 this is the routing this is the serial the, the chain of the filters so they both uh, play on full throttle and uh, let's see we have LE4-6 which is driven by the bandwidth of the band reject filter because filter 1 is set to a band reject filter. If you want to make growly sounds or deep sounds you always need to start or just I recommend you to to experiment with band reject filter or with the double notch. They are also very very cool filters to create deep tony sounds uh, like gross and heavy basses. These are very cool. And I also use this envelope 3 which is you know just just it, it just gives a barky sound or just a bite on the very uh, on the very first seconds of the sound you know when you just hit the no hit the, the the keyboard it just gives some kind of bitey sound by uh, by modulating the cutoff filter so this is the this is the preset itself it's pretty simple but don't forget we have three voices unison we didn't change anything here like the cutoff or the pen or or the wave table nothing here this is all and uh, yeah we don't have anything else here so this is a not very complicated patch but on itself it sounds like this <laughs> A drum and bass sound, but I didn't like it too much, so I added an OTT. It glues everything together. I also used an EQ because I didn't need a very low, I used a different sub here. And the very high is because it is a very noisy sound as I added a noise, field, uh, a noise oscillator, sorry. So I wanted to get rid of the very very highs, which are very annoying. But the coolest tone is given by Serum FX. So let's open it. And as you can see, not too much is going on here, because the main character is given by this Hyper. I really love that. Which is a, some kind of unison mode added right after the whole sound, uh, the whole preset, the whole instrument. So I I just added four voices of unison. I didn't want to change the detune by this knob, by the rate. So the rate knob determines how fast the detune should move up and down. I didn't want the detune knob to move, so I pushed the rate all the way back down. And I find the best sound I wanted to achieve by turning the detune knob. This is a nice deep and flangey sound here. I really like it. So I added another OTT and an EQ to get rid of the very highs again. I don't want that hiss. So this is all really. Uh, the whole sound 
sounds this bad for the space house stuffy. I think this very very short plucky bassy stuff would be more than enough. So this is how I built up this whole loop and this whole little I don't know song shred or something. I really like the result. So if you like this tutorial, go and check out my pack, which uh, this loop or this sound is coming from, this 5 feet media bass line house pack. I think it's really neat. I hope you will love it. And if you found any sound in this loop you are curious about, just drop a comment below and we will see if we can make it in the next uh, one of the next Synthesize Sunday tutorials. Please share and like and comment. I really love that. Please share my videos on your Facebook page or Instagram or er any anywhere else. I am really thankful it and see you next time. Well, next week, which is this week, because sorry, I am a little late with this tutorial, but hopefully this week I will I won't late with it. So see you next time, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>